Hey guys, my name is Miranda Jogalati and welcome to my closet. Just kidding, I'm on tour. Hi everyone, my name is Sam Poo. I am a dancer with Shane Performing Arts and I have been touring for more than 10 years. And today I'm gonna to tell you my top 10 essentials for traveling. Seven. Seven? Top seven. It's not 10? Nope. I have like 20 here. It's already really hard to choose 10. Okay, are you sure it's seven? Seven. So if I take that out, eight. Is it eight? Eight? eight. Hi everyone, my name's Sam and this is my top seven essentials. Let's get started. So these are my seven essentials I carry in my luggage. Starting with my least important item, number seven, they are my flip-flops. I love to keep my feet very comfortable and clean. So my first essential is my coffee making gear. This is kind of my reward for getting out of bed in the morning. A nice cup of gourmet coffee. And that's gotten me through really hard days where we have two shows that day or we're just having a really rough travel day and we all, I only slept for four hours. But coffee always wakes me up. So I like freshly roasted coffee and this one's Ethiopia. And uh, I'm not a coffee snob, but I do like to get my coffee gourmet. My number six would be my skincare routine. So sometimes after the show, I'm just really tired and this is pretty easy to put on. And then this is just a face, facial cream. So sometimes if I get really tired, I just do one or two. I love it so much. So my second essential are these wireless earbuds. So the reason I have wireless and not wired is because as a dancer, it does not work when you're dancing with wired because you just raise your arms and no more earbuds. As a dancer, you can't be separated from music. Dance is so coherently fused with music that it just doesn't work if you only have dance without music. So I'm constantly, constantly listening to music, be it the show music, be it the class music, be it just some piano or some classical music. I'm always listening to music. So for example, we're on the bus a lot, we're in noisy theaters, we're in the middle of the mall sometimes, we're in a lot of random places. And no matter where I am, these are what help me concentrate and get me into the zone. This is a secret tip. Mine have the memory foam tips and what they do is they stick better in your ear so when you're dancing and jumping around, they don't fall out. So pro tip there, okay? Wireless earbuds. Okay, number five would be my after show facial cleansing gel and eye makeup removing face wash. Basically after the show, it's really tight, like after we take off our makeup and wash our face. So I feel like it's really important that I wash my face a second time like before I sleep because I don't want those like, you know, bumps on my face or like impurities. So I always wash my face a second time before I sleep. And so this is really important to me. All right, so my third essential is this, Jade, okay? I know it's a little weird, let me explain, okay? So my name in Chinese is Pu Yu, and the second letter, Yu, is a homophone with Jade. And it's always been like my, um, I don't know, it's, it's like been lucky for me, it's auspicious for me. Like in uh, traditional Chinese culture, the men, the gentlemen, would always have Jade with them. And it's because Jade has the characteristics that most gentlemen uh, sought after. In Chinese, it's like Wen Ren Ru Yu. Now it's just been like a hobby for me to collect jade, and I don't know. I just like ever since I was a kid, I loved how jade looks, and uh, it's I always bring it on tour. If you guys have seen the movie G Sam that I made, notice that I have a jade bracelet the whole time. The real Sam Poo in that movie always had the jade bracelet, even though he switched bodies to G Sam. Anyways, third essential, jade. Moving up the list with my number four most essential item in my luggage would be my massage gun and it has different like intensities so it's really cool oh my gosh okay and it has different knobs for like different purposes so like a flatter one and the intense one i like using this one and this one because it can really get at your kinks in your back or neck so this actually the massage gun is an additional item that not an additional, because I was allowed seven, I heard from the Musketeers. But um, I actually didn't bring this on tour last year, only this year, because we have this pull your back leg move in the dance. And then it makes me really sore. So I try to like massage it out, like my back out, if we have a lot of shows. So this is very important to me this year. So my number fourth essential is inflatable mattress. On tour, our schedules fluctuate. Sometimes we have a really intense schedule, sometimes we might be really relaxed. But when we do get the very intense schedule, it's really crucial for me to get a quick power nap in. And it just makes me so much more alert to finish the shows. And sometimes in the theater, it's like cold concrete everywhere. So when you have this mattress, 
game changer. And I have upgraded. If you guys follow the channel, you know I bring a Thiel little mattress. I used to have used my foot to pump it like and I always get feedback from Will saying it's annoying. This new air mattress that I got is two times thicker than one from last year. Because last year I used it so much that it started leaking air and it broke. So I've got this new one with this thing and it's like game changer. Essential for sure. Okay, my big number three on the list would be my warm up booties. These were introduced to me by my friend and it was so smart because they really help me when we're in like Montreal or Canada and like at the theater, your ankles are so cold. You don't want to hurt yourself for the show. So I just keep them warm, my feet warm during shows or whenever. I started wearing these like maybe a few years ago and then we went to Italy and I saw all the ballerinas wear them. So I was like, oh yeah, I got some too. And I really like them on tour. So my fifth essential are these. They're called warmies or booties. Booties. Okay, I'm not too sure what they're called. All I know is these are so good, okay? They have leather on the bottom. And you can also point your feet in these. So you can actually dance in these. As you guys know, if you follow the channel, I had a serious Achilles rupture before. In the morning, it is really hard for me to warm up. So without these, I basically can't get going. And also, when we're performing, when we start our seasons, it's usually in the winter, so the theaters are ice cold. And you wanna get your feet as warm as possible before you dance. So these are really crucial. Actually, I wear these on the bus too and in the hotel room when it's cold. So these are like, these are just like slippers. Like, they're so good. If you don't dance, but you want warm feet, recommend it. Okay, big runner up number two would be my thermos. <laughs> so I got this from for a Christmas gift too from my fellow dancer, Bella Fan. It's awesome. It's like a Japanese thermos and it keeps it really hot and really cold. She's not with us this year, so. But um, it's really important to me because on tour sometimes, you know, when you just don't feel good, you really need hot water, especially during the show or on the bus. And I think like if I left this at home, I'd be very sad. So I always need my thermos. All right, so my sixth essential is, okay, I'll stop you there. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why does Sam have so many things for sleeping? Is he sleeping all the time? No, this is not why. I work really hard, so when I get do sleep, I have to sleep really well, okay? That's the reason. Eye mask and earplugs. Look how many earplugs I bring on tour. Okay, let me tell you, on tour, you might room with different people at different times, right? And that person might be a really bad snorer, okay? I'm not gonna name any names, but we have one snorer that's really intense. So without these, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I mean, he's a cool guy, but he just the snoring is crazy. And these keep out the light, which gives you better sleep. And these are really useful in theater too, because um, as you know, we have a live orchestra, so they're practicing all the time. I love the sound of it, but it's hard to sleep, so these help me, okay? Next! Okay, are you ready for my number one most essential item in my luggage that I can't live without on tour? Okay, they are my very loyal, reliable leg warmers. Honestly, I just wear them all the time. And I like them because they have a bit of like a salt and pepper kind of pattern, so that, I don't know, life is not too dull on tour because we always wear black. You can see they're a little worn out, but um, they're awesome. My last essential, and it is the most important thing I have with me, I have this with me all the time, no matter where I go, it's always in my bag, and that is this book called Zhuan Fadlun. As I said before, our schedules are really intense, and it's not just the schedule being intense, it's like the constant pressure, because you really wanna do well for each show, and you know that there's thousands of people watching you, and there's actually a lot of pressure to do well, and at times it's really easy to let that pressure get to you, and you can have anxiety, or you can have you can have like a almost mental breakdowns. But this book has a set of guiding principles and also it's just a way of teaching people how to live their life. And it teaches you how to be a good person and it also teaches many other things. But after reading this book, it really helps me calm my mind and teaches me how to be a better person. It also calms me down, it gives me a clear direction to live my day. So this book has really changed me and I actually have read it many, 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 many times. And every time I read it, it gives me a new profound meaning and understanding. But yes, this is my last essential, but it is by far the most important. I have it with me all the time. Trap out then. So if you come to watch the show, they actually sell this book in the lobby, so you guys can pick one up actually. I'll link it in the description in case you guys are interested in reading it for yourselves. But this book is my most important essential. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Seven essentials by me. I'm a maximalist, I have a lot of stuff, but these things keep me going. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, my name is Rob. Welcome to my closet. Okay, 
so number six would be. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. <laughs> How do you say a word that sounds like another word? Like the words sound the same. Hey Siri. Uh, what is a word? What is a word that sounds like another word called? Okay. Now I need to go to Webster. Make sure I'm sp saying this correctly, so I don't look like a fool on YouTube. Homophone. Okay, got it. Okay, I know it's I know it's pretty loud, but it's easier. 